In this video, we are going to learn about how do you find out the roots of a quadratic equation by completing right. So when I talk about squares, what I mean here is, let's say x square. Okay. So let's say for example, you're given a quadratic equation x plus 3 whole square is equal to 16. Now instead of taking the factorization method where you would have gone the long way, is there an easy way to find out the solution for this? What we can do over here is we can take square root on both the sides. Okay, so we get square root of x plus 3 whole square is equal to square root of 16. Right, or in other words we can get x plus 3 is equal to plus minus 4. Right? If I solve these two, because square root of 16 can be plus minus, we get x plus 3 is equal to 4 and we get x plus 3 is equal to minus 4. And if you solve this, you get x is equal to 1 or you get x is equal to minus 7. So we have solved the quadratic equation without actually undergoing the detailed mechanism which has to be followed in the factorization method. But this was a simple case where you knew, you know, you had squares already given. How about a situation when these things are not given to you? How do you do that is something which I'm going to explain now. There are certain steps that needs to be followed. Find the root of 2x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 0 by completing squares. Now in this case, what I need to do is as step 1, I just move this minus 6 to the other side. So what do I get? I get 2x squared plus x is equal to 6. I just simply keep all the terms containing x on one side and whatever else is there on the other side. Right? Once I have done this, then what do I do? The second step is I find out what is the coefficient of x squared. Coefficient of x square and I divide both the sides by this coefficient so in this case our coefficient is 2 I will divide each and every term so let's say if I had 2x squared divided by 2 plus x divided by 2 is equal to 6 divided by 2 okay so I divide all the terms by the coefficient of x square what do I get this 2 gets knocked off over here here I get 3 right so I'm left with x square plus x by 2 is equal to 3 once I reach here I apply the next step okay the next step is what the next step is we find out what is the coefficient of x in this case if you see the coefficient of x is what it is 1 by 2 right and whatever is the coefficient whatever is the coefficient we take half of it half of coefficient of x or in other words it's like half into coefficient of x now incidentally both of them are 1 by 2 over here right what do I get I get 1 by 4 and then I square it so whatever is the output here 1 by 4 I square that that gives me 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 or in other words 1 by 16 this value is added to both sides of these equation right so you get x square plus x upon 2 plus 1 by 16 is equal to 3 upon 1 basically so I don't write anything over here plus 1 by 16 right now if you carefully watch this this can be written as x plus 1 by 4 whole square right the idea is we need to convert this into some form of square right and how do we do that we know x square means the answer for a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab which means that this b square is nothing but 1 by 16 or in other words, b has to be equal to 1 by 4, right? 
because 2ab is x by 2 is equal to if you resolve this you get 16 over here 16 times 3 gives you 48 plus 1 gives you 49 right so this means that if I take the square roots on both the sides I will get x plus 1 by 4 is equal to plus or minus 7 by 4 49 ka square root is 7 16 square root is 4 right now what I need to do is I just need to solve this I'm running out of space over here so uh, maybe I'll just remove a little bit of space from this so x plus 1 by 4 is equal to 7 by 4 which means that x is equal to 7 by 4 minus 1 by 4 or in other words you get 6 by 4 or 3 by 2 and the second one is x plus 1 by 4 is equal to plus 7 by 4 actually not plus minus minus okay if you just take this to the other side 1 by 4 right which is minus 2 right so these are the values of x and which we have been able to find out by using completing the squares method time for quotation be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind it's always you know a tricky situation for you to be in right we always constrain ourselves from doing things believing that if we do this what will people think about it and this quotation from Bernard M. Baruch is actually a manifestation of the true things do what you want okay if there are people who don't like it maybe they don't matter and actually the people who matter you are going to be happy with what you do they don't mind it with this we close this video